Bienvenidos al primer On Life. Aquí os traeremos pues eh, exposiciones, eventos y, y, y muchas cosas más. Pero hoy, en este primero, nos centramos en la exposición Vuelta a Casa, una exposición sobre el proyecto que convirtió un barrio marginal en el centro de la comunidad artística de Miami. La exposición está abierta hasta el 29 de abril en Be the Travel Band Experience, en la calle Miguel Ángel, número 33 de Madrid. Es en, tiene la entrada gratuita y en ella podéis ver una exhibición de vídeos y fotografías sobre cómo el arte urbano fue capaz de transformar el barrio de Waywood, o algo así, en Miami, en el centro cultural de la ciudad de Miami. Os dejamos con uno de los vídeos que se pueden ver ahí. I've learned over the years, you truly need big ideas that differentiate one neighborhood from another. Most depressed areas, when they're in their depression, are taken over by street artists. Some of it's mediocre, some of it's outstanding art. What it didn't have is a defined center. Neighborhoods need a center, they need a main street. And I said, here I got a parking lot, I got buildings, I got canvases galore. Let me find the greatest of the international street artists and put them all in one place, open it to the public, and make it a town center. You know, in these times where money is scarce, one must be even that much more creative. It was beautiful. Tony and I came up with the concept for the Wynwood Walls. And this will be a phenomenon. I think art and business need each other. You know, art, culture, really enriches a neighborhood and those don't have to be disparate fields that they can work together in harmony. I have seen a lot of big graffiti projects, but I never would have believed that we would be in a neighborhood where street art had become the thing that was supposed to revitalize a neighborhood. I mean, that's such a surprise, but so interesting. I mean, how much has changed and how quickly it's changed and how you can see that change in the photographs. This is Jeff Soto doing his piece as we speak, and there'll be one other piece by Logan Hicks. This is Coco 144, and this is phase two. So he just did this in the last couple of weeks, months. Oh yeah. This is not building a building. This is saving what's here and rethinking it. Our idea is to continue this community rejuvenation using art throughout all of Wynwood. That could use something. It would just be so cool. It would throw the whole thing across the street. I think it's only the third year, so yeah. eventually that but will right, all happen. But it'd be so good. There are also other mural programs throughout Wynwood, which I feel is important for us all to be a team together. We're Primary Flight. In like 2005 and 2006, we brought artists in from all over the place to paint the majority of the murals in that district. We had to convince Miami graffiti writers and like, Miami street vagrants that they needed to play host to this bigger family so that we could grow. You need to have collaboration and a plan. This is not Disney time because there needs to be a vision that is bought into by more than one person. You know, I do kind of say, you know what, my tag is good enough to be all over a building to myself every morning and now it's happening. So some of them will like it and some of them will not like it and some of them will realize that, oh, it can be nice and it can be used for good. There's plenty of grit here. Keep some of the grit, take some of the grit away. In these times when you have so many cutbacks as far as funding for the arts is concerned, a project like this can have a big impact it's the best of the best. I like working on unique projects, projects that can change the environment. One of the most important things for me was to bring in unknown artists 
from regions that most people wouldn't really expect to see museum quality work. It's always interesting when you inject art into a community and this seems like a really great experiment right now. If it wasn't here it seems like it'd be just an industrial shithole. But it seems really great now. The caliber of work here is exceptional. Simultaneously, it obviously functions in a different way and does become a backdrop for an enterprise and for a direction that this neighborhood is going into. And that's not something to knock at all. We had a vision that this was going to happen. It's like the truth. It's, it's going to get out. And it's going to hurt certain things and create this balance. <laughs> but everything will set itself straight through history. It's the ultimate risk taking. You can't be perfect. You can be imperfectly perfect. Bueno, pues a mí me parece interesante el vídeo. No sé a vosotros qué os parece. Recordad que podéis visitar la exposición hasta el próximo día 29 de abril en Video Travel Band Experience, en la calle Miguel Ángel, número 33 de Madrid, que la entrada es gratuita. Ahora sí, nos despedimos, no sin antes recordaros y pediros que nos dejéis vuestro like, comentándonos en la cajita de comentarios si habéis visitado la exposición y qué os ha parecido, si os gustaría visitarla o si os gustaría visitarla y no podéis visitarla. Muchas gracias a todos por estar ahí. Nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. Adiós.